Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. Uh, I want to tell you a little story. I was at uh, this Morocco workshop and I was helping people. And uh, you know how it is, you're working and you get frustrated and you start making these pictures and, and they don't, you know, you just, it's a real dog basically. And uh, uh, one of the people at the workshop, Juliet, uh, Juliet Smithers from London was there and she looked at her work and she's like, oh my God, it looks like a dog's dinner. And uh, it was such a great remark. Um, it's such a great way to describe that kind of work uh, that just, it just looks like looking in a dog bowl, you know, just all the muck in there and it's all kind of a mess, you know. And I always, I just, I love that, just a dog's dinner. And I think our work goes through the phase of being a dog's dinner. And like, what is that? And, and how do we, what's going on? So a dog's dinner uh, picture is one where you just have a whole bunch of stuff going on. And that's why, which is cool, you're just throwing all these things in there. But what it is, is that you haven't yet chosen uh, to highlight or show one or two things uh, that interest you. So everything's vying. It's like going to a party and everyone's talking the same volume in the party and it's just, it's just crazy madness and, you know, so it's much, it's hard to understand that when you have, when you have multiple 10 things all happening at the same volume or you're working on something and it isn't clear when I look at this dog's dinner picture what exactly the person uh, is interested in showing us. You can just kind of feel it. They're just kind of messing around, which is cool and it's fa a fine phase to do. And that usually the work goes through that dog's dinner phase in the beginning. But then what you want to do is start isolating and start choosing and bringing forward the differences that you like, right? So this has got so many differences and so much stuff that it's, it, it doesn't, it just feels like a dog's dinner. It just feels like a carnival. It feels like a yard sale. It's just too much uncurated stuff. Now you get to kind of come in and start choosing and letting something come out. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with value. When you have, you know, value being one of the strongest differences that we notice, really light and really dark things, that's contrast, that difference is what we notice right away. So I use that all the time in my work. Like I've got, in, in, you know, I'm just standing in front of my paintings and it's a bit monotonous to be talking about my work and this, but I'm just, illustrating it that, you know, there's a lot of, in the beginning, this was like a dog's dinner picture. There were so many things. I just put tons and tons of stuff in there. And then I decide, oh, I kind of like this blue a lot. And I'm going to make that. I just love that color. So I kind of subdue everything. And I want some space in here. So I quiet things down with a value, you know. So I'm really using value to organize this and color. You know, this has got blue and these are more muted and everything. So you can do it with texture, you can do it with whether it's the photography you want us to see, but at some point you want to choose what it is. You got to get clear on that. Otherwise the viewer isn't going to, isn't going to feel that either. And, and that's how you kind of exit out of that dog bowl kind of picture. And, um, there's nothing wrong with being in that dog bowl because that's how you figure out and experiment and play. But to get that going, you need to choose and start letting your preferences being shown more and more and more. And that kind of gets more clear. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's sort of a way of getting unstuck, actually. But I just love that phrase, um, you know, a dog's dinner. I think that's just so classic. And we all make them. And um, I got, you know, there's tons, tons. Hey, everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.